everybody today we're going to be going through the product rule now the product rule is a very useful technique to know um, you use it basically when you have your when the stuff that you want to find the derivative of is um, like the content of that stuff is multiplying by itself so x plus 5 times by say 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 if you cannot be bothered expanding this then in order to differentiate, you have to use the product rule because basically in between these two brackets is a multiplication sign. Okay, so the product rule is basically um, the way you do it. The first way is you um, define u, define um, u and v. Okay, the second thing you do is directly underneath, I always recommend to my students that they differentiate. Okay, um, U and V. Okay, and the third rule is that you want to um, use this particular formula. So in order to find your derivative, dy over dx, you basically just take the derivative of U and times it by um, the V value and then add it to U times by the derivative of V. So basically, you've got u and v from here. Okay, so in order to use the product rule, the way I remember it is that one of them has to be differentiated, the other one stays normal. Then the other one has to be differentiated, and that one that was differentiated before stays normal. And then you add them. So in this case, order doesn't really matter as long as you do that. So let's have a look at how to use these rules for this particular problem here. Okay, so we know that we can use the chain, the product rule. So let us um, define these particular ones. It doesn't matter if you define this as u or if you define that as u, it's the same thing. So let me show you. u is equal to x plus 5 and let v equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. hope you can see that. Alright, so... Now, what we're going to do is we're going to um, find u dash, so the derivative of u. Um, as you can see, it's going to just be 1 because this is a constant, it will disappear. Then v dash is going to be equal to um, 4x and then derive that to minus 5. So this is the vital information that we will be using for this question. Okay, so... Let us have a look at how to find the derivative now. So, you know that the derivative that you want to find is dy over dx. So, the definition of it is that, that you have to go u dash times by v. So, I remember this always by just multiplying. So, this is u, I have to multiply it by v dash. And this is u dash, I have to multiply it by v. So, I just cross multiply. But it just make sure you substitute it in. So, we've got x plus 5 times by v, uh, 4x minus 5 and then um, I've run out of room so I'm going to just get rid of these by now you should have that down okay so plus um, you know u dash uh, u dash which is 1 times by v which is this now it's not hard to get this expression what is quite tricky about this section is just to um, Simplify it all. That's the hard part. Okay, so dy over dx becomes if you just expand this all out You should get 4x squared um, Minus 5x plus 20x minus 25 and Then you, this is 1 times everything. So it's just basically the same thing Okay, and then you gather together like terms. So as you can see, um, this one is going to be the same as that one. Let me take the sign in front. So you'll get 6x squared. Okay, then you'll find that this, this particular one, this one here, and that one there, the same thing. So like terms, you add them, you get 10. 
10x, and then finally you've got um, to minus 25 plus, plus 6, so you get minus 19. Okay, so that becomes a derivative, dy over dx. So now you've found it, okay? Um, yeah, so that's one particular example. Now, obviously these get harder, um, especially when you start, start looking at logarithms and things like that. I'll just do another example for you. Okay, so let's have a look at another one, uh, maybe a more complicated one. So y is equal to 1 over x squared plus, you know, 5x cubed times by, um, let's say, ex, e2x plus 5. So if you remember, we looked at how to differentiate e values and things like this. So, um, yeah, now let's have a look. We're going to split it up. We're going to say u is, let u be equal to this whole thing. And let v equal to the other part of the product. All right, and then we make u dash. Well, before we, make, before we find u dash, just on the side piece of paper, I always like to just um, make sure that this is beautified. Okay, so... I'm going to go u equal to x to the minus 2 plus 5x cubed. Just so I can differentiate it easily and I can still, without making a big mess in my information box, I can pu put all my info in. Okay, so u dash is going to be the derivative of this stuff. So it's going to become minus 2, minus 2x two, um, to the minus 3. Okay, because you reduce it by 1, and then you have plus 15, x uh, reduced that by 1, so it becomes 2. Alright, and now this is going to be annoying me. Okay, um, and then we have v dash. To differentiate e's, you have to bring whatever you have here, you have to take the power down, differentiate it, and put it in the front of your expression. So basically the derivative of 2x plus 5 is just 2. And then you do not decrease the power by 1, you just leave the power on the e. Okay, so we have this expression now set up. Alright, so what we can do is we can plug that into our product rule formula. So our product rule formula says that d, dy over dx is equal to u times by v dash plus v times by u dash. So we're just going to do that right now. Uh, plus 5x cubed times by um, v dash, which is u, uh, 2e, 2x plus 5, and then plus this times by this, times by, sorry, I couldn't fit everything, I ran out of board, minus 3 plus 15x squared. Okay, so now we finally simplify that. So what we're just going to do is we are going to put it all together and try and make it nicer. Okay, so we can take out an e2x from out of this expression, okay? So let's just put it in the front of all this stuff. And what we're left with is just basically this, um, this 2 times by this bracket. So we go 2 over... Excuse, I'm just straight away timesing because I can't be bothered rewriting this two times. Okay, so plus 10 x cubed. All right, and then we, um, that's one. So we just rewrite whatever we have here. Remember that this is a negative power, so it goes down to the bottom. And then we go plus 15 x squared. And, um, I mean, you can do crazy stuff with this. You can, like, um, get a common denominator if you really, really wanted to. But I would just leave it as this, okay? So that's the derivative um, of this particular expression. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you later.